going on guys mr ham gamer here wanted to show you something interesting today um this is something that i think the game should have incorporated a long time ago i've actually submitted a zendesk request of my own to hello games uh suggesting this i don't think it would be that difficult of an implementation but it is something that i think um annoys a lot of the veteran players who may have like a ton of bases on their list um but I've actually figured out a way that you can reorder your bases. You do have to little bit, do a little bit of editing um, of the game data itself through a save editor, but um, it does make things a lot more convenient when you end up having you know hundreds of bases on your list. This is a fairly new character, and I've already rearranged these bases. Um, so I've put you know my my favorite home base up top, and then I've kind of ordered them in the way that I want them. But I, I want to show you how to do that, just in case you know you've got a bunch of bases and your favorite one sitting down there on the bottom of the list. Um, so basically, you know, first of all, I highly, highly recommend that you back up your save file first. Um, I mean, this is a bit of an advanced thing. Um, and if you don't back up your save data, um, you, you may very well be sorry. I know that the save editor does create its own backup, but I, I like to copy all of my save data. Um, you know, essentially, I know my latest file is going to be this, say, 13 and 14 here. And I'll copy the MF underscore as well. So I'm just going to copy those four files, and then I'm going to paste them into my backup folder. Um, you can find that under your user folder, under app data, roaming, and then hello games. Uh, and then it's going to be an, under, an ST underscore and then a bunch of numbers. It's going to be a folder named ST underscore something something. Um, so what you need to do first is you need to go over to um, – well, I mean, you could Google this, but uh, you need to go to Goat, the Goat Fungus uh, No Man's Sky Save Editor. Uh, I'll put a post a link down in the description. But basically, um, you you need to download uh, this save editor, and then um, it's it's a simple installation. You just run the exe once, and it creates this .bat file, and then you run the .bat file, and it loads up your your save editor. Um, so then what you do is you look for your, your latest save here. So in, in my case, it's going to be this slot seven. Um, and then uh, you load that. And then uh, come over here to edit and click edit raw JSON. All right, so you'll see this window pop up. Now, um, what you're looking for is you're looking for your persistent bases. So if you expand out this player state data section, and uh, come down here, you should see, I think you, I think you can search for it too, but a little further down here, uh, persistent player bases right there. So you can see here, and um, it's kind of interesting too, like my, my freighter was, I think, position two or position three originally, because I didn't get it right away. Um, but um, basically what you do, you come in here and you can see this, this is the base in its entirety. It's this location. Um, and if you do control F in here, I can actually search for like I have a my naming convention. Let's try that. It's not in there. Oh, right, because this is a freighter. Um, so this is my my first base. So this is the the one that you saw on the list there. Um, I mean, you can always search search for like name, and then that'll always bring you to. Uh, well, I guess not always, but um, this is how you know which base you're looking at. So uh, let's say that I wanted to, you know, swap uh, this base with, uh, I don't know, what's number five? Uh, this would be my Star Bowl base, right? So um, what I like to do is just, just in case, I like to copy this and uh, open up a Notepad and just paste it in there. And you know, you can see I've, this is what I've got in there. And then I've got another notepad here, which so I'll come back and I'll go to number five and I'll grab this. And it's just in case, you know, you never know. <laughs> Accidentally lose it off my clipboard. Um, so I'll take this number five and I'll bring it over here and I'll paste it over one. And then when I click away from it, it's going to ask me if I want to apply these these changes. So I'll click yes. And then um, I want this base. This was the one that was in position one. And uh, I'm going to put this in position five now. Okay. And then let's just double check to make sure that we got that right before I delete the notepads. So that's in uh, place number five now. And then it's going to ask me if I want to save. Yes. 
and then and then one uh it's now showing the star bulb so i've successfully swapped uh, my home base and this uh, star bulb base so now um close out of the json and save your changes on the save editor okay and then what you'll need to do is you need to now reload the game so we'll just um we'll look here it's uh 8 51 a.m arizona time so i'm just going to reload this auto save that's what i just saved on the save editor all right so now that we're back let's take a look at this teleporter and voila you'll see that my castle base that was here in this first position is now down as i've swapped these two bases um so yeah, there you have it guys. If you want to reorder your bases, that's how you do it.